Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Tyler and I'm glad you're here. I've been focusing a lot on riding videos lately, but sadly I injured my ankle a couple weeks ago at work, so I've been off the bike for a bit. But since my bike is still trashed uh, for my last drive, I figured it's as good a time as any to show you guys how I clean my bike. All right, the first thing you want is a bike stand or some way to prop up your bike while you clean it. It makes it a whole lot easier if you can spin the wheels and stuff while you clean. This doesn't have to be fancy or expensive though. I made mine out of scrap wood and some $1 hooks from the hardware store. You'll also want a simple hose or some way to move some water. Finally, you'll want a brush or a brush kit. I got this awesome muck off kit for Christmas and it really is nice to have. But any set of brushes and cleaner would do great. Pretty sure even a cheap car or bike cleaning set on Amazon would do fine. Okay, let's do this. First, you'll want to just give the bike a good hose down. Just use a shower setting right now. Nothing too powerful is needed at this point. Then you'll want to use a soft brush to start loosening up some of that mud and dirt. No need to scrub too hard at this point in the game. Then if you've got one, you'll want to use a cleaner to start breaking that stuff down even more. My muck off spray says to let it sit for three to five minutes, but just do whatever your instructions say. Next, use a soft sponge or a rag while the cleaner is still on there to get a lot more of the dirt off. Then give it another rinsey rinse. Okay, now it's time to start scrubbing away some of the more stubborn spots. This is where all of those extra brushes come in handy, but they're not 100% necessary. I use a smaller, stiff bristled brush for some stuck on bits, smaller areas, and around the pedals. This weird flat brush is what I use around the drivetrain and the chain. And this other weird two-pronged brush is what I use for the brake rotors. Again, these special bike brushes aren't necessary, but they do make things a bit easier. Once you've got all of the last bits of dirt and grime scrubbed off, it's time for a final rinse. Then just give it a couple of drops to shake off the excess water and then let it air dry for an hour or so. Last but not least, I make sure my chain is nice and clean and dry, and then I apply this chain loop. Again, my instructions say to let it sit for a few minutes before wiping off the excess with a dry cloth. So that's what I do. And that is it. Not too hard. The bike is clean and shiny. And most importantly, it's ready to ride off into the sunset. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.